Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a new at the drugstore try on makeup haul. I have several new things from the drugstore. I figured I would just put them all in a collective video and talk about them at the same time. So I will be trying everything on for you guys today and kind of giving you guys my initial thoughts. There are some things I haven't even tried. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I do have a couple of mascaras to show you guys. I have the new Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude Mascara and the very already infamous L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, which is supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I do want to say that I did not like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I am going to apply each mascara to each eye. So here's what the Maybelline mascara looks like. As you can see, it does have a curve and it kind of like sticks up away from the actual uh, the stick. And also, I hope you guys can see, but this is flat. Like this is not like a round 3D type shape. And this is a rubber wand, so it does have like flexibility and it does move around and stuff. So I do see other YouTubers saying that people are telling them to apply mascara and do reviews without eyeshadow and eyeliner on. But I feel like most people's lashes look pretty good with just mascara. My test of a mascara is if it looks dramatic enough with like the whole nine yards. So I have tried to compromise and just put a little bit of eyeshadow on. I literally just have something in the crease and I did do a winged liner. I can't find the Maybelline mascara online for whatever reason. I picked it up the other day at Walmart for under $9. It was pretty affordable. So it says, introducing lash sensational curvitude for defined curved lashes. Our innovative fanning curved brush shapes, stretches, and reveals layers of lashes for the curvy full fan effect. Okay, so here are two coats of the Maybelline mascara. As you can see, it is pretty full. They're pretty thick and volumized and they're very separated. And I do like the wand. I like certain aspects of it. I do like how it's curved. I feel like it really grips on and grabs the lashes very nicely. Just fits right at the curve. But I don't like where it's flexible because I feel like you can't really push it into your lashes and comb all the way through. I feel like you can just hit the surface. But I do feel like the bristles of the wand do a great job at separating and really combing out the lashes at least on the surface. I feel like it really does make my eyes look more open and wide awake. I don't feel like it's the most volumizing and lengthening formula, but I definitely do feel like it gives you fullness, and I think this would be a good mascara for every day. I really, really do like this for the bottom lashes because, again, it just separates them, and where it doesn't go through all the way, like it just combs the surface of them, I feel like that's awesome for the bottom lashes because then you won't have to worry about it getting on your skin and stuff because that's the biggest problem I have. Also, not too much product comes off on the wand. I feel like it really does disperse a good amount. Where it's not too wet of a formula, I don't feel like it's messy or anything like where it gets all over your eyelid. So now on to what you guys have probably been waiting for, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And I have not seen a negative review over this mascara. I forgot to show you what the Maybelline package looks like because I was about to show you guys the L'Oreal one. Um, it got stuck in my drawer and got all bent out of shape, but uh, it's here. <laughs> and then here is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It's so cute. It's this really nice like light pink with a gold trim. It looks so expensive, so high-end, and it looks just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, except it's a lot more lightweight. I did not like the heavy packaging of the Too Faced one. I just felt like the tube was way too heavy. So here's what the wand looks like. It has that hourglass shape. It's very full. It's very big. It looks just like the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I did curl both lashes. It just says that 200 plus bristles catch every lash for a full fringe effect. Fringe effect, that's different. Smooth Glide Formula provides silky volume and one extra black coat. Lashes are feathery soft to the touch, voluptuous volume and length, soft wavy bristle brush, and more black pigments. Okay, so here are about two and a half coats of the L'Oreal Mascara. As you can see, it gives you very full, very volumized lashes. I do have a little bit of length as well, but I definitely feel like this is more of a volumizing formula. Here's what it looks like super up close. So I'm gonna be honest, I haven't really liked the L'Oreal mascara as much as I had hoped. Like, I don't feel like I like it as much as everyone else does. First off, this is a very, very jet black formula. I do feel like that claim stands true. Right now, I do like it pretty well, but I also don't have like that full on eyeshadow look going on. I feel like this is a very fast acting mascara. I feel like you start seeing results and it starts working as soon as it touches your lashes. But here's my thing with the mascara. I feel like if I apply too much, especially on the ends, I start getting that like spidery like fish hook. I like for the lashes to be just straight out, very full, very fanned out. Right here, can you guys see that? I don't know if you can. Oh, you, you kind of can when I do this. See how they're not like full and fanned out? They kind of have that more like touching each other type thing on the tips. Here are what the mascaras look like side by side. And as you can see, the L'Oreal side is definitely more dramatic and more bold, and it does have more volume. 
Again, I really do like the wand of this mascara. I feel like it really hugs the lashes very nicely and I love it for the bottom lashes. It's not super messy where it's a more dry formula. I'm just kind of on the fence about it right now. Okay, so now it's time to finally move on and I have a new foundation to talk about. I haven't really heard a lot of reviews about this. But this is the Revlon Youth Effects Fill and Blur Foundation. It does have SPF 20 and I picked up the shade 330 Natural Tan. I have no idea if this is going to match me. It's probably going to be too dark. This was one of the darker shades. It did seem like all the shades ran pretty light. Like it seemed like they were all very close to each other and it didn't seem like they were super dark shades. So keep that in mind. I'm a little salty about this foundation. Like I honestly didn't even want to pick it up. This is like $17. So on the Ulta website, this is $17.99. I'm pretty sure this was like $15 or $16.99 at Walmart because it's like I said, it's usually cheaper. They have 12 shades. They also came out with a concealer, a forehead primer, and a face and neck primer all in the same range. So the concealer is $13.99, a little up there. And both of the primers, the one for the forehead, why is there a forehead primer? That, the forehead primer and the face and neck primer are both $19.99. $20 for a drugstore product. What is wrong with these makeup brands? Who do they think they are? Like, they're supposed to be drugstore. Like, stop trying to be like the brands in Sephora and stuff. That's not your game. Okay, I'm just, I'm getting a little salty and I'm sorry. I need it bring it down so this just says dramatically transforms the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and that's it <laughs> that's all okay on the website there's a little more to work with so it says instantly erase the appearance of dark spots age spots and hyperpigmentation powered by innovative age corrective technology with micro fillers and optical diffusers wrinkles and pores look instantly smoother lightweight hydrating formula high coverage foundation erases the appearance of uneven tone age spots and hyperpigmentation and looks freshly applied so, I did apply a self tanner last night. Hopefully that kind of helps me out a little bit. I did apply moisturizer and primer, so we are fresh to go. It feels very thick and moussey. You guys see that? Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so here's what I got going on. Not a whole lot, just a few little blemishes and not really any active breakouts, but let's do it. Oh no, what have I done? It's so dark. I overestimated my tan. Oh, I can't make it work. The fact that it's so dark makes it not blend into my skin very well. I don't know if that's just the shade or if that actually is the foundation. I feel like it's the shade. The coverage is not that great. It seems to be like a light coverage, which is really weird because it's a thicker formula. Okay, so I've already used what I squeezed down on my hand. Oh, I forgot to mention it's a squeeze tube and it comes with one fluid ounce of product. It just seems like a little bit does not go a long way. Ooh, it's looking, it's looking uneven. We're we not giving up, people. We're not giving up. Okay, we're going to try a brush. I don't know what brush. Let's do this It Cosmetics one. This came, oh no, my mom gave this to me. <laughs> oh, baby, you're not looking so good, baby. <laughs> All right, that is blending it out better, but I'm not getting very good coverage. I really expected full coverage. I feel like I watched a review where someone did say it was full coverage. Not for me. It has a pretty finish. Like this side with the brush looks kind of pretty, but as you can see, you can still see my blemishes and stuff. It's definitely a light to low medium coverage. Let's try stippling it. Okay, when you stipple it, you do get better coverage. Kind of fixed everything after I used the entire tube. Okay, literally 12 minutes later, we are done. So it actually does give a pretty finish. It's like a satin glowy finish. It does look pretty smooth on my skin. It doesn't seem to be settling yet. As far as my pores go, I mean, they do look a little bit minimized, but I mean, this is how my pores usually look with a satin finish foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and apply the rest of my face. I don't have anything else to show you until highlighter. I'm not gonna apply any powders or anything, at least for five minutes to see how it sets. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, it's 1.55. We're gonna use that for our check-in time. Okay, I'm back with the rest of my face on and here's what everything looks like. So I did wait about five or six minutes before I applied powder and it didn't completely set to like a powder finish, which I didn't really expect it to. It did start setting and kind of drying down a little bit, but this is definitely something you'd have to powder, especially if you have oily skin. But I didn't really have a problem with anything applying on top. So the next thing that I have to show you guys is one that I was very reluctant on buying. I just feel like there's only so much you can do with them. 
and then they just all start looking alike. I finally bit the bullet and wanted to show you guys my thoughts and tell you guys if I think it's worth the hype because this is very hyped up. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. I don't know if they're going to have other shades. I'm guessing they are. I believe this was like $8, $8.99 at Walmart, but it does have a really, really pretty color. It reminds me a lot of the Laura Geller, what is it called? Baked Highlighter, the golden one. I'll put it over here. You think so? Okay, so very buttery and very soft and pigmented. Oh, wow. So that is very, very pigmented, very metallic. And I don't know if this is going to be more for deeper skin tones where it's more golden because this is like just a straight up light gold shade. It doesn't really have like a champagne tone to it. So I don't know if this would be a good highlighter for people with lighter skin tones. Dang it, I like it. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, so very metallic, very glowy and dewy and gives your skin that really nice like wet effect. It's not really accentuating texture a whole lot, so that's good. It's not really like a shimmer, it's more of a sheen. Because I will say, I don't really like the Becca highlighters. I know I'm the only person in the world who doesn't. I feel like they're too frosty, and I like highlighters that give you more of that sheen. <sighs> I'm digging it, and I don't want to dig it, but I am. I have two lip products to share with you guys. These are both from Maybelline. So I have the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and I also have the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. In the Superstay Matte Ink, I have the shade 05 Loyalist. And then in the Vivid Hot Lacquer, I have the shade 62 Charmer. These are both nude shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Superstay Matte Ink first. So on the Ulta website, the Matte Ink is $9.49. I believe I paid about $8.99 for it at Walmart. They have 10 shades and this is just supposed to be a very, very long wearing formula. It's supposed to be like a stain for your lips. And then the Vivid Hot Lacquer Lip Gloss is $7.99 at Ulta. So it's probably about $6.99 at Walmart and they do have 11 shades. So here's what the wand looks like on the Superstay Matte Ink. I really, really like this wand. It's a doe foot applicator, but it's flat and it has this little like center dip in there so that the product sits in there. And I just feel like this type of wand applies lip products so well. And I did just use a lip scrub before I put this on, so my lips have been exfoliated. This is like a liquid lipstick on steroids. It's very, very matte, very long wearing, and I'm gonna let it dry for a second so you guys can see what it starts doing. So I can already feel it drying and kind of like, <laughs> it's very, very drying. It's very thick. This will stain your lips and it's very hard to take off with even makeup remover. The other day I tried to take it off with a makeup wipe and it would not come off. I actually had to go in with a micellar water. So I wanna show you guys what this does. Watch this. The first day I tried this on Snapchat, it was literally like sticking together like glue. It was as if I had gum on both lips. So my lips are already starting to stick together and it's kind of hard to talk. I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes with this lip stuff on and I want to zoom you guys in and show you what it looks like. This is just emphasizing every line in my lips. And then there's like a line of demarcation around the rim of each lip. It is extremely matte. Um, it doesn't feel that sticky anymore, but my lips still s stick together on the sides right here when I talk. So this also has that very, very nice doe foot applicator. It has a little bit of a curve to it, and the product sits in the middle. So I think this is awesome. It grabs onto your lips very well. It's very glossy, and it does have quite a bit of pigmentation. I probably wouldn't wear this on its own a lot unless I was just trying to get out the door, or I just didn't feel like going through the steps of lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss. It's not like unbearably comfortable, but it's just a little bit too sticky and thick for my liking. Here's what that shade looks like. Very glossy, it's like an intense, kind of like the NYX Intense Butter Glosses. Very pretty color, and then here is the Superstay Matte Ink right there. So again, very, very pretty color. So I'm not gonna do a wear test or anything with the lip products just because I'll be home all day. I just don't like to wear lip products while I'm at home. But I will check back in at the very end of the night and show you guys how the face products and the mascaras held up. It is now 9.54. Our check-in time was 1.55, so I've had this on for eight hours. So I'm gonna go through each product and tell you guys what I think about it, if I would recommend it, if you should avoid it, all that stuff. So starting off with the foundation. I do not think this is a bad foundation. As far as the wear goes, it's held up very, very well. As you can see, everything has stayed in place. I will say it does not feel super lightweight. Like I've wanted to like just claw at my face today. It's not the most heavy feeling foundation by no means, but it just has that like masky feel in a way, especially around my mouth for whatever reason. So here's what this side looks like. Everything is held up very well on top. 
and then here is this side and I did just now get done taking a nap and I was laying on this side a little bit and nothing really messed up so I'm pretty impressed about that but really nothing has settled it hasn't settled into pores fine lines I really do like the finish of this the finish is a really nice satin and I feel like I can see the finish it doesn't look super mattified even though I did use a setting powder I don't know if this would be the best for oily skin especially if you have super oily acne prone skin because where it does have that healthy glowy sheen and you can even see it over setting powder and stuff I feel like you could probably easily get greasy and oily with this so I will continue to play around with it I might return this one and get a lighter shade and see if I like it better I will give you guys updates but for $17 I feel like there are cheaper foundations out there that do similar things and work just as well if not better but yeah I can't say you have to have it in your life like go out and pick it up right now it's just so amazing but I will say it's not a bad product so moving on to the mascaras and how they wore I think both of them wore very very well there's very minimal flaking they still look pretty bold and I feel like they held their curl and shape very well I don't feel like they like fell limp or anything but I just feel like the Maybelline one isn't bold enough for me I feel like this is really good if you like just an everyday like kind of quaint soft eye look but I wouldn't knock this mascara if anything I really do like it still for the lower lashes I would probably keep it for that reason but the L'Oreal Lash Paradise I've just I've kind of been on the fence about it I'm gonna keep using it but it's almost hard for me to say that you shouldn't try this because I've seen it work wonders on so many people and everyone has said this has become their favorite mascara so I do think this will work for a lot of people but I love the shape of the wand I like it for the top I like it for the bottom and actually I'm gonna put a picture over here of what it looks like when I have like a full eye makeup look going on so you guys can see how it looks against a backdrop as I like to say it's not my favorite mascara and I don't think it will ever be the highlighter I do not want to like this. I've been very stubborn and I was really hoping that this was overhyped, but I feel it. I see it. I get it. It's held up all day long. It still looks so glowy and nice. So I feel like this might look like a bronzer on really fair skin tones, but if you have light to light medium skin tones and up, I think this would work perfectly. And last, the lip products. I do not recommend the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink unless you're needing it under like extreme circumstances. Like if you need something extremely long wearing for your wedding or for pictures, then maybe I could see someone sacrificing for this product. So I wouldn't recommend this just my opinion the vivid hot lacquer is kind of wearing on me i do have it on right now and i really do like it just for like slapping on and it gives me color it gives me gloss i do think this is a pretty decent product i feel like if you apply too much of it that's when it can start feeling sticky and thick so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i tried to make it as in-depth as possible as if i did do individual review videos over each thing thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today thumbs up if you like this video subscribe follow me on all my social media all the links are below as well as all the products I talked about today and updates and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Mwah.